this is an adventure. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well and welcome back to the vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a very long time. Pretty much because I just haven't had anything to show and I know, you know, people are like, we like that at home vlogs. We like just seeing you chilling and doing nothing because I've been doing nothing. Like I haven't really been doing much, but let's catch up on what has been happening over the last few weeks. So this is the recording setup that I'm trying today, which is in the living room rather than in the bedroom because as you know, I've been having like a lighting issue. Oh, that's me, hey. So as you know, I've been struggling to find like a good place for lighting, it, well, a good setup. Um, ooh, why are the words not coming? I've literally spent like an hour talking and yet the words can't still come out of my mouth. But I have been struggling to find a good lighting setup in my bedroom to record and so i decided to come into the living room instead to do it shout out to renee for actually letting me just use the space because she was actually working in here before and then she kindly gave me the whole room <sighs> feel bad <laughs> yeah it was actually a lot better i'm interested to see what the sound is like because obviously my bedroom has carpet and it's a smaller room so in here there's definitely going to be like a lot more echo so um i'm just gonna have to like sound treat or just do some editing on the sound as well but i need to edit it because at six i'm meant to be meeting mandy it's currently seven minutes to four and i need to edit an hour long video well it's an hour raw footage but um i'm going into central london to meet up with mandy so that we can go for a walk we're gonna go for an evening late evening nighttime stroll around london um just to get some steps in and just catch up and stuff and so I want to get as much editing of this done as possible because I do actually want to get this video out tonight, which means I'm I'm probably going to get home kind of late. So we'll see. I mean, if I can't get it out tonight, then I'll get it out tomorrow. OK, so I only really got like halfway through um, editing. I'm really liking how this is like the video is so far. Um, the only thing is I've got to go so <laughs> in order to meet Mandy in time. So um, I'm going to actually come back and finish the edit. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. But this is an adventure. So I just got back from my walk with Mandy. I'm in the elevator going up to my flat, but I just picked up my parcels from the online shopping I did last weekend. I think I have a problem. Guys, I had to bring it up on a trolley. There's a lot of packages here right now. Oh God. So I just got to my eye test. I'm a little bit nervous. I hate like, appointments of any kind to be frank but hopefully we can get me something to help with this lazy eye so i have to get glasses and from the sound of it they're pretty thick glasses <laughs> Hello beautiful people. I haven't spoken to you today actually, um, but it's a very 
random time. I'm currently editing and exporting a video which I want to upload later today, which is why I'm like, oh, it's nearly finished. Okay, shocking. I wasn't expecting that from my laptop. But basically, I'm currently exporting a video which I'm going to upload tonight. But my mum has just came back to London and she's gone home to her house and turns out she doesn't have electricity. Well, the electricity is not working. There is actually like funds on the account, but it hasn't synced. So she's currently in a predicament. So I'm going to go up to North London to help her. Um, so I'm in a rush because my mum's at home without electricity, so I'm going to go and fix that. Oh, so I look very nice in this thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I look very, I look very pretty. I love it. <laughs> I'm back home. As you can hear from my mom shouting on the phone, literally shouting on the phone. It's good to be home. <laughs> so I came um, and the electricity surely was off. And um, I don't actually know why they changed the electricity in the house like a couple months ago. And it's just a lot more complicated than it used to be. And so we don't know why the electricity turned off for so long, but it's also meant that because my mum was away for a little bit um, and I've obviously moved out, my sister went to uni. It's also meant that everything in the fridge and like the freezer has gone off and like spoiled. So, and you know, African freezers are not filled with your common um, household goods, child. This is meat, this is dried fish, this is all of this stuff. So we're gonna need to like do a deep clean for the kitchen particularly and just air out the house. But yeah, I'm in my old bedroom. It's my old room with my single bed. And it's crazy because now I've got my room <laughs> where I live. So that's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna open these letters and then head back home. I might actually go and pick, um, get some Japanese food. And if you remember in the vlog that I did ages ago when I was catching you up on like my life, um, I talked about this Japanese, but wow, my mum is going at it on the phone, isn't she? catching up with her sister so um I was talking about this Japanese restaurant which I really like called o called Oita or Ota I think it's Oita though is it Oita 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 it's a Japanese restaurant sure. and I don't live in North London anymore so I'm thinking hmm should I just go there since I'm here anyway I came here just to literally press a few buttons but you know when your parents aren't technologically savvy. This is why they sent you to school. So yeah, I might go and get some Japanese food um, and then go home. I've been reading V's book and I came to the part where she was talking about Renee and they literally flipped the page and she was talking about TMS. I love I love her. I love this book. Um, and literally went on Instagram and then saw that she is a part of the YouTube Black Voices Fund for 2022. And so many of the people that I know are as well. And so many people that I, I get to support here online and who make amazing content. Ahiz is on there. Um, Journey to Medicine. If you don't follow them, go and subscribe to them. Um, especially if you're interested in like medicine and going down that route. Um, Lamid Day Elizabeth, who is super inspiring, like super inspiring. And um, when it comes to talking about like money, business, just leveling up in general, um, yeah, so, so many, also, Lydia Dinga, sorry, <laughs> Lydia Dinga, Adela Afadi, um, I'm not gonna lie, I knew a few of these people, like, bef before, um, but just because I was a part of the class last year, so I, I knew a few of these people before, but it's just so, like, when I'm going there, and I'm just seeing all these beautiful black faces, like, a day there, she's in Nigeria, um, but yeah, I'm just seeing all these beautiful black faces, I'm seeing my friends, I'm seeing people who, I genuinely love and support like I love their content I just want to see them win and to get to see that they're a part of the YouTube Black Fund it's life-changing guys like it's really life-changing as a creator to have your the platform that you create on actually back you is very rare a lot of obviously platforms exist because of well my mum's talking is it distracting from what I'm trying to say mm. <laughs> so I haven't heard she in so long. Um, a lot of platforms, or well, obviously, all, a lot of platforms, content platforms and social media platforms exist because of the content that creators create on it or you create on it as a user. Um, but they don't always look at the creator's well-being, the creator's needs, um, even though the, the creator is central to their business model. 
they just look at like optimizing the app or the platform for the viewer but the creator is essential and whilst youtube is not perfect i do think it is one of the best and the only platforms to really consider what their user but also the creator really needs in order to keep the platform going and to build these communities and digital platforms and I can genuinely say as a smaller creator as a black creator YouTube has helped a lot like to back your creators and to to it and to a huge degree invest into the creators of the platform so that they can create better content be better at whatever it is that they do is amazing and I'm so like inspired by it I'm really appreciative for it and um, my year being a part of the YouTube Black Voices Fund last year was great like the the um the community that I created obviously with my class and my classmates um the opportunities that it presented the funding the classes you know being able to discuss things with people who work at YouTube and who are YouTube essentially about the different facets that go into creating content is it's unmatched like it's completely unmatched other platforms instagram twitter like they don't really do that i don't think um and for them to really put their mouth their their money where their mouth is especially where black lives matter is concerned because if you don't know the background of the youtube black voices fund it was started in response to like the george floyd incident um the conversations that were rising up from the Black Lives Matter movement in 2020 and you know a lot of companies pledged we're going to give this much money or we're going to do more to support diversity and inclusion and these pressing matters of injustice when it comes to race um, and to support Black Lives Matter and to to support Black Lives Matter and to support um, Black people in general but after you know the hype or the news kind of died down the work and the injustice didn't stop, you know, but a lot of these brands kind of went quiet again and it, it became kind of performative. Um, the, the just saying this is what we're going to do to help black people and and making these performative gestures and graphics on social media, um, which is very annoying. And a lot of brands have been getting away with that. But I can honestly say I have seen firsthand YouTube has this is not even YouTube PR. I don't know why I keep I'm, I'm talking about this at length, but I do want to give credit where credit is due. And YouTube as a platform has done a lot, I think, to put their money where their mouth is, to support creators. And whilst it's only a handful of people and there are so many other creators, it's nice to see black stories being platformed. Is there more that they, they, they could do? A hundred percent. But there's a, it's a start. You know, it really is a start. And as a big company, you know, as a part of Google, YouTube, making that kind of step to, to at least now two years in a row to be supporting a good group of um, black creators all over the world so impressive really really enjoy it um enjoy seeing it and shout out to every single one who is a or every single person who is a part of the youtube black voices fund at the moment the lighting in this room was terrible child my mom is calling me in one sec Just finished reading empowered it is amazing amazing i'm about to go to sleep i have loads of clothes and stuff that i need to do a try on haul for but i'm about to go to sleep but this book beautiful Today is a really cool day. Today is February 5th, Saturday, February 5th. And today is Renee's birthday party. After all of the, the trials and the tribulations, Sis has been able to plan herself an awesome birthday party. And that's what's happening this evening. But in preparation for that, and just knowing that this weekend and tonight particularly is going to be very long, I want to get ahead of all the work which I need to do, which includes the To My Sisters podcast and a video that I want to upload this evening. So I filmed a try on get ready with me the other day. 
curl film in that video was long but i'm actually so proud with the way that it's turning out it is taking a bit of time to edit i have started editing it but it's taking a, a lot longer than i thought so i want to finish that and upload that today but also tomorrow the podcast comes out but i know i'm getting home late tonight going to church in the morning and i have a lunch after church service to celebrate one of my friends and then by the time i get home there's no way i'm going to be able to sit down and upload the tms episode for sunday evening if that makes sense so i want to do that today I'm actually going to edit the TMS episode first today and then do my try on haul like edit the try on haul see if I can finish that before we leave this evening we're gonna leave around 4 p.m so I'm gonna start getting ready at around 3 p.m um Deji Deji Rachel is coming over to do Renee's makeup and I absolutely love Deji so I can't wait to have her over um yeah let's get to editing because time is crunching it's about 9 9 30 Okay, so I'm all done editing the podcast. I'm just waiting for it to export before I move on to editing the try on haul that I have going on. I have quite a few files happening at the same time. Um, and this is, I'm really liking how this is turning out so far. Um, by now, by the time this vlog goes up, this video will already be up. But yeah, I am just editing it in iMovie and I'm really loving just the way that it's looking and all the overlays and i've definitely done a lot of work um on this video but it's definitely looking worth it it's definitely looking worth it i am a little bit nervous i'm not gonna lie i can't lie and say i'm not a little bit nervous for this video to go out because i don't know the internet can just be a mean place um and yeah i'm just i'm learning to love my body i'm on that journey of becoming confident with my body and i'm really loving the way that my body has changed and it's looking um and I'm liking the clothes that I got as well, but not everyone's on that journey with me and stuff like that. But yeah, it's fine. It's all good. I put out a the first like workout with me video that I did. Um, it'll probably be a few weeks before this vlog, so go and check that out. It'll pop up on the iCards, but I did that video. The response has been absolutely amazing. You guys are so encouraging. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so that has definitely made me a bit more confident to post this video but yeah whilst that exports i am about to eat some lunch i'm actually oh let me show you i picked up some watch it it's been so long since i had watch it and basically i was craving i need to still warm this though it's still a bit cold um i was craving some like home food like some good guardian food but I haven't been able to get my hands on some and my mum is not around but then I saw this in a shop that I went to and I was like oh let me pick that up so I'm gonna have watch here for lunch why am I standing so close to the microwave does anyone like I don't know all those waves and that energy but anyways um I have a lot to do I have a lot to do I need to start getting ready at about 3 p.m it's currently just gone past 12 a few moments later so I told myself that I was going to have a quick nap, like a 25 minute nap. I couldn't fall asleep, but I stayed in bed to relax. And now I'm in that like, that lazy phase where you just don't want to do anything, but I need to get ready. I need to get ready right now. I shouldn't have had watch here for lunch. I shouldn't have. I'm so tired. I've got the itis and I, oh. <laughs> let me go and shower oh, i just want to sleep so much but let me go and shower and luckily though i got the editing done for tomorrow's episode i didn't finish editing the try on haul i don't know how long the final video is going to be i anticipate that it'll be around the 30 minute mark but the raw footage was an hour and 10 minutes what was i talking about so I need to edit all of that well to be honest including all the b-roll the raw footage was about an hour and 40 minutes so it's taking a lot of editing from me so i'm not going to actually pressure myself to get it out this evening but i do need to start figuring out what my upload schedule is going to be and working towards it but 
I did basically shot myself in the foot because yesterday I didn't do much. I didn't have a productive day yesterday, which was Friday. Um, just because my body has been feeling so tired since returning from to the gym. Um, yeah, so I had a very lazy day just watching, like binge watching Drop Dead Diva. But I've really like messed things up for myself because I'm behind on work. So next week is going to be intense, but <laughs> that's next week's issue. I'm going to get ready, go get cute and go to Renee's party. This is the outfit that I'm wearing today. Um, the theme for Renee's party is neutrals, neutrals and pastels. And so I am wearing this piece co-ward from PLT. Um, it's very, uh, I'll talk you through it when I wear it, but this co-ward, the uh, trousers are underneath, this co-ward has given me hell. I have had this co-ward since October because I was going to wear this outfit to the TMS live show. But I did not because it gave me trouble. But then I didn't return it in time and get a smaller size. It is way too big for me, but we're going to have to finesse it today because I have nothing else to wear that is like party appropriate. It's a very like casual party, but yeah, all of that has given me hell. This is a nice cold, but the fit on this is horrible. Terrible, girl. Reveal time. Say hey, Deji. Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> such a great face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> I glad you like it. Honest to God, you look fantastic. <laughs> the cutie girl. Amazing wow. hands. Thank you. Thank you so much. The only person will ever let us touch our face. Oh girl, the Deji so Rachel. Hey Deji, I'm getting married, you know. Yeah. Woo! Girl, you look good. Have you seen the base? You, no, zoom in, see the pores. <laughs> what pores? What pores? What pores? It's always a That is nuts. You look fantastic. Christ. <laughs> about your birthday miss feeling good man i'm absolutely exhausted and i'm craving some chips but i have been great fabulous and fantastic time I'm no i'm craving some chips i just realized what you said i'm about to order some chips on the way home <laughs> but i had a great time i was surrounded by people that loved me <laughs> and yeah it was a fantastic fantastic like birthday celebration and Love that. had a great time man Aww. and we got my friend courtney that's me if you don't know <laughs> she's my bestie I like am. i said she is not no available. one that can take not my place um, so i cannot be bought yeah, it's very expensive now. hourly rate starts yeah. at 10k i know that's right someone's coming up the stairs i don't know Good morning beautiful people so today is actually tuesday so since saturday well sunday morning technically haven't spoken to you because on sunday i came home slept for four hours and got up and went to church okay i was tired put a t on the end of a full stop i was tired um then what happened then we went out to like have some lunch me and my church family we went out to have some lunch celebrate one of my friends and then um i went to another church service so my pastor was ministering somewhere else and i decided to go to that as well i was tired when i came home i fell asleep i had nothing to say i didn't want to talk to nobody i was losing my voice at the same time because i did sing on sunday morning i sing in the choir matena <laughs> and then um monday i did nothing so mondays i oh, sorry i just had breakfast so 
there's a lot happening in my esophagus so um monday i uh rested mondays are my day off so i did absolutely nothing nothing oh renee's balloons in the back um i did absolutely nothing yesterday i'm very glad from i i love that for me um i rested up and i feel so much better because i was start you know when you're so tired that you think you're starting to get sick that's where I thought I was, but I'm fine. So I am, today, I am getting back to work. I've got a video to edit. And also I just really want to like consolidate in my own mind that I know what my job is because let me explain so obviously january was the month of rest december was like a time of big transitioning like there was a whole bunch of change go and watch the first vlog if you want to understand that but there was a whole month of change and i was burnt out so january was a month of rest and so february this month is really the first month that i'm working in my new job workspace life i don't know i'm now okay i've transitioned but into what do you get what i mean so big question mark i want to answer that question of what am i doing what do i wake up every day knowing that i'm doing for example if you work like um in a corporate job or a traditional nine to five or you, you're walking in a traditional career you know you wake up you're working on these projects you have these deadlines um etc but for myself i haven't really created that um structure or that rigidity of well not rigidity but like i haven't created that structure that says when i wake up in the morning i know that this is what i'm working on and this is why and i want to have done it by this or these are my deadlines like i don't even have upload days or you know am i just gonna you know what content am i working on on this channel on tms on different social channels i'm currently working on a really cool exciting project um for the next one year actually um, outside of something I've like it's not something I've ever done before but I really want to like figure out okay what am I how am I doing this how is this project going to manifest and like unfold over the next year and how am I dedicating myself to it um I also need to like yeah just basically vision cast and basically want to do that kind of planning today even if the first step is this is what I'm working on even for the next three months that I'm really happy that I'll be, I've been able to do that. So I'm going to do that today. And then I'm going on a, work, a walk this evening with Mandy. Um, so I didn't go to the gym yesterday because I was very tired. But Tuesday is usually my push days. But last week when I did a push day on Tuesday, when I went for my evening walk with Mandy, I could barely walk. Like I was, my car, my quads finished um and me and mandy do this tuesday walk every week and we just walk around london and it's so pretty it's so inspiring it's so great to be around mandy so i feel like tweaking my workout schedule just a little bit so that i'm not doing you know fifteen thousand steps the same day i'm doing like quad focused exercises or like my push days because you know when i got home on wednesday oh child i've only just like my boss my muscles only just feel okay after last tuesday's workout and walk and so i'm just not there yet so i want to rejig everything so that i'm not i'm not killing myself um with all of this exercise but yeah girl that's basically what happened in the last 48 hours that i haven't caught you up on yesterday i watched the tinder swindler Hoo <laughs> my enemies <laughs> peter is down peter is down. there are so many iconic lines from that documentary but it's actually so sad like it's so sad that people can be that cruel and just crook crooked like to to literally scam people out of millions i think at the end of the documentary they said that um he scammed people of if you haven't watched the tinder swindler it's on netflix um and at the end of the documentary they were saying how he's reported to have allegedly um like scammed people out of tens of millions or like 10 million dollars globally that's a lot of money and <sighs> he's really a predator like <laughs> this guy has preyed on women who are just looking for love like they're just looking for companionship and he's really a catfish like he's created this perfect image of i can sweep you off your feet and i saw some oh let me finish that train of thought he's created this perfect image of like i can sweep you off your feet like i'm the dream guy that you want to be with son of a billionaire he's really looks like that prince charming and you know he gets these women to a point where they feel like oh, i can trust you i want to be in a relationship with you and that's when he just in their moment of vulnerability he just attacks and 
it's so sad that people would like blame these women and whilst yeah it looks like what they did was quote unquote unwise i think you can never really understand in a two-hour documentary how someone can make you fall in love with them and how deep that love goes and also it's it's really got nothing to do with what they did or did not do like it's more so about him <laughs> he's the problem he is a criminal um and i hate when people deflect those kind of things like that is a very evil thing to do to have women take out loans and remortgage their homes and sell their items so that they can support you because you've created this lie that you're in actual danger and then you make those women feel as though they're in danger and if they don't co cooperate with you you put them in danger like are you seeing the depths of this wickedness? But yeah, if you haven't watched The Tinder Swindler, go and watch that. And it just reminded me like, yo, you you just need to pray. Like, discernment is key, but also like, I'm not gonna lie. If someone's coming to me telling me that they're the son of a billionaire, why are you asking me for money? My parents don't have billions. Why are you asking me for money? I don't have billionaire friends. Why are you asking me for money? me humble old me <laughs> why are you asking me for stuff even if i go i ain't giving it to you <laughs> sorry sir <laughs> these assets are mine yours mine ours yours is mine and it's ours but mine is mine and it's mine you know but you know what like it can really happen to anybody <laughs> It could really happen to anybody i saw on instagram um someone i follow was talking about love bombing and how like this age of romance and, and like social media and content has made people or a lot of women particularly expect love bombing and I never really knew I didn't know of that term before this morning um, but it's basically like these grand gestures like if a guy likes you he'll fly you out if a guy likes you he'll buy you a Birkin if a guy likes you he'll parade you on a pedal store and it's like that's not normal and I think because we are expecting these really grand gestures we can easily be fooled by these very performative things and like very lavish things when really and truly the deep things that we should be looking for are like character like what what's your character saying what's your personality saying what's your integrity saying what's your ethics saying because I don't I personally okay you can fly me out to different countries but if you have enemies chasing you how will I sleep at night just because we're on a yacht, baby, it doesn't mean I have peace. <laughs> I don't have, pe I don't have peace. <laughs> Personally, I think it's a, a really important thing to really not look too much to these material things because I think we see it often, right? People will treat you badly, treat you in a way that reflects very poorly on their character and also their view of your relationship and the way they view you and your worth and your value. They'll do all these bad things, like they'll behave very badly, but they'll cover it up with material things. Let me buy you a necklace, let me buy you diamonds. And it's not just a now thing, you know, it's the, the men that cheat in other cities, but when they come back, they buy you a house, they buy you a car, they make sure the kids are taken care of. You never have a reason to complain other than the fact that they're treating you like crap you know um and I I just it doesn't sit well with me and it doesn't sit well with me that we kind of spread those messages and I, I believe I believe in loving out loud I believe in the treat your significant other treat the people that you love not even just romantic partners but treat them make sure that they feel the love in the way that feel celebrated make sure that they're feeling loved out loud and all of that but that does not negate having to work on the foundational things of exceptional character and integrity and being able to tell the truth. Can you trust what that person says? Can you trust um, that their their values and their morals align with yours? You know, can you trust the person? Because love puts you in such a vulnerable state. It puts you in such a vulnerable position it's letting somebody into the innermost parts of you. Well, it should be. It's letting somebody into the innermost parts of you to have access to all of you. And if you can't trust somebody with all of you, just because they can provide you stuff doesn't mean that they can have you, in my opinion. But yeah, this 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 concept of love bombing, let me know what you think. Like, what are your thoughts on love bombing, grand gestures? Like, should you expect that, especially in the early stages of a relationship? I also just think it's quite unrealistic. Well, you answer that question in the comments, but I personally think that it's a bit unrealistic as well because 
people be out here going into debt or being fraudulent because they think they have to or they know that it's a great manipulative tactic. Not everyone is a manipulator, but that is a great manipulative strategy um, because people fall in love with that kind of lifestyle. They're not just in love with you, they're also in love with the lifestyle. And so if they are going to leave you, they also have to leave the lifestyle or they have to compromise themselves to maintain that lifestyle with you. And if that's what you're coming in with, oftentimes that's what traps people to also stay. Um, mm, no, I don't want it. I don't want that for me. I don't want that for my sisters. I don't want that. Mm -mm, we don't like that. Boo. Tomatoes. <laughs> I have had like three non-gym rest days back to back. I feel good, but at the same time I feel bad because now I need to actually get four consecutive workouts in to make sure I still hit my goal target for this week, which I'm still determined to meet. Um, but your girl has glasses now. Yes, I do. I can see glasses, gang. Um, it's still weird. I'm definitely still adjusting to them. I've had them for about 12 hours, but... Um, I'm happy I got them. And shout out to every single person who in my vlog where I was talking about my lazy eye was just talking about like their experiences, their insights and kind of encouraged me to, you know, pursue taking my eyes health, my eye health seriously. Um, and also to one of my followers who is actually an optician or works in eye health. So I don't know what to call it. I don't know if she's an optician or like she just works in opticianary i don't know she was actually in my instagram dm just talking to me helping me out and um, she was even trying to hook me up with some glasses but i saw the message too late literally i saw the message the day i went to spec savers to have my initial um appointment so shout out to you thank you so much i am enjoying the glasses um but today i actually have a meeting in like five minutes i just finished stretching because my body was feeling really tight and i think i'm going to start incorporating more stretches like into my immediate morning so not just after or before working out but actually when i wake up i need to I need to stretch because my body's feeling really tight and I don't think the fact that my posture is bad helps. So I actually wanted to show you something. Yesterday, after I went to the optician, I actually picked up this perfume from Zara. Now, this is the first time I went into Zara for anything. Um, and I know I've I've been hearing that they have an amazing like fragrance selection and they did this collaboration recently with Joe Malone. So I was like, oh, let me actually go and check it out. So they have these like um scents that are inspired by well the Joe Malone collection collection um seems to be inspired by like cities so there's one about new york tokyo this one is the madrid scent i literally smelled like every scent in zara this was the only one that i really liked it has a very strong like orange smell like it really does smell like mandarins oranges summer just very like fruity with like a hint of that kind of floral perfume scent which i like so i'm just going to be using this like as a morning scent because it really like it's very fresh it's very refreshing so i'm going to be using this as a morning scent especially when i go to the gym so i'm going to spray that on now before i head into my meeting and then i'm going to head to the gym we did it we did it a million downloads to my sisters the podcast has been listened to a million times <sighs> i think that means i can officially call myself a podcast producer content creator digital creator also i did my eyebrows this morning and doing the same method i showed you in my reset vlog i don't know one of my nails keeps snagging my hair um and i snapped I snapped. Are you looking at my brow shape? Yeah, I snapped. My mother would be proud. Mm. They're thinner than I usually do it, but I like it. Like a look. Look how crisp they look. Mm. Also, my skin is looking good. I need to work on like clearing up these dark marks um, from like just popping spots and scarring and stuff. But I'm back to wearing sunscreen because I was irresponsible what was that because i was irresponsible and i wasn't 
wearing it as often as I should have. I'm currently listening to the Man Enough podcast. I just discovered this. Just discovered that Justin Baldoni has a podcast called Man Enough. So good. I just got back from the post office and I am about to do my makeup because oh I went to the post office to deliver some CDB London orders but I'm about to do my makeup because we're about to have a photo shoot in celebration of 1 million sub, um, downloads not 1 million subscribers yet but um we're gonna do that and probably record Sunday's episode because we'll be all done up anyway the lights will be out so yeah I'm gonna do that real quick this chem beauty powder i am just so happy with how my makeup turns out these days this chem beauty powder under the eye is fantastic i have it in the shade brownie which is the second from darkest um soft set their soft set setting powder so good like so, oh i just look makeup artist like i've been touched by a makeup artist i wish the lighting in this bathroom was better but like can you see oh my gosh mm. so i changed the lip a little bit because i decided i wanted something a bit more cool tone to match the shade of this top um oh, the lighting in here is just terrible oh this is cute um but i actually i'm trying this for the first time i got it in the molly may uh beauty it's not beauty works what's that bus called cosmetics yeah the collab that she did where she released that um box of like different stuff and this is the fenty gloss bomb in diamond milk and it has this really nice like um cool tone to it and i was a bit scared on like how i could use it because <clears throat> well, i was a bit scared on how i could use it because obviously i'm black i am actually a warm tone like i have a warm undertone blue tone stuff cool tone stuff doesn't always look great on me it can sometimes wash me out or look gray but this i like how it looks i'm gonna give you a close-up i like it i like it a lot it's nice neutral like Cute look, you know, I like her. I like her a lot. Mm. This cake is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Aluchi. And it has um, pictures of the TMS from TMS Live, our first photo shoot with Deji and Joy. This is so cute. And then all the sisters are here because we had to include y'all. And the flavor is caramelized nut, and I cannot wait to try it. But these are such, oh, we can keep these decorations for sure. I'm gonna leave um, all of Candy Rose's details in the description box so that you can check her out. But she's super dope, such a nice person as well. Hey, sisters, thank, thank you for a million downloads! <laughs> all my people, thanks to all my girls. Oh, this is cute with the tree in the back. Oh my god. Baby, at least you got hair on. Some of us did our nightwear and our bonnets. <laughs> Okay, so the day has actually come to an end. Me and Renee are about to watch a film. She's standing behind the camera in her bonnet and uh, we were both just laughing about how we didn't really think about this. <laughs> she looks fantastic though. As do I, but you know, this is very um, pillow talk. <laughs> no, we, ain't, we ain't that intimate yet. But um, before I actually like sign out the vlog, we just wanted to cut this cake with y'all before we watch Eternals um, and eat this cake from Candy Rose. But we just wanted mm -hmm. to say thank you. This is quite surreal. Like, Crazy. This is just the beginning, guys. Like, I'm already reached my one million. My prayer is that obviously this needs to be downloaded and transferred to our account. Amen. Um, enemies are after us, so. Peter is down. <laughs> Bad. Down. Bad. Bad. <laughs> we both need a meal. So if you can make that too. I'll send the account details, but yeah, honestly, such a blessing and mm. 
We're looking forward to even greater impact, yeah. man. Greater impact. Building a digital community. And like, this is our thing. Like, we're so much more than a podcast, but we started as a podcast. And so to see the podcast grow so quickly and to just have gotten to meet so many women and to be a part of like their daily lives and to have had any kind of impact on their lives is a privilege. Like it really is a big honor. And thank you. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Thank you for rocking with us, for engaging, for encouraging us, for buying tickets to events and conferences that we've had. Like it's not been easy because it's just us. Yeah. Like we on our own without heavy, heavy funding. Without external studios, we own all our equipment, we own all our cameras, we nice. edit all our stuff, we create all the content, we're the ones sending the emails, we're the ones managing brand deals, it's us. We're the ones who are doing the reading, we're like, <laughs> literally we're the ones who are doing the praying. Yeah. And so it's not easy, but it's so damn fulfilling, like Amazing. it's so fulfilling and so thank you, thank you, please continue to support us, this camera is very wonky. Yeah. I was looking at you guys. This camera like, is so wonky. Like. Oh my god. But we are about to cut this beautiful, beautiful cake. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May this be um the beginning <laughs> road <laughs> to millions more downloads, millions in the bank, GBP, millions of subscribers. Hallelujah. May this be the first of many millions. Amen. But also just have a I just pray we get to keep doing what we love I and know. that it just gets better and better. Amen for that, man. Well done to us. Well done to us. Wouldn't have wanted to do this with anybody else. Honestly, no, that's genuinely. Could it have? I know you're being sentimental, but there's actually. <laughs> that's nobody no, else. I don't do this for Gary. But I don't but do like, you know, dead there's, ass. Nobody, there's dead ass nobody that's more competent. So. <sighs> Should we dismantle this cake? Come on, In you got this. In Jesus' name. Oh, Come God. on. Go smooth. Nice. Yeah. Um, well, this that's is it from us, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check in post. Let them eat cake and be merry. I yeah, know that's right. I'm actually in love. Wait, that cake slapped. What?